Hey gang, good morning. Do you like my new accessory? Well, watch what else. I've got this document camera. Watch to see what it does. But wait a minute, let me grab my coffee. Sorry, I forgot it. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Okay, did you know me? If I had coffee cups, I would have decorated this, but I don't have coffee cup stickers. Okay, all right, look at this thing. Woohoo! you can see me. Isn't this cool? Yeah? Okay. Well, watch this. This is really fun because we're going to read a story. And, okay, uh, my uh, glasses are heating up. They're steaming up. A little condensation there. So I figured we're going to finish our story about the resurrection and the crucifixion tomorrow because I had, I've got a fun one. You're going to love it. Fun story. So watch this, because see, if I go down like this, oh, it's upside down. So watch this. You're going to love this. I think I'm going to have to buy one of these. Okay. All right, watch this. Oh. Hello. I'm on my head. Isn't that hysterical? Oh, we need to get one of these for this class, don't you think? All right. Here we go. Minerva Louise. Whoops, there we go. Too fun. Minerva Louise and the colorful eggs. Got to do it. And listen so you can take a test. All right. There we go. Isn't she a kick? Uh, written by Janet Morgan Stoke. Okay. Oh, well. Minerva. Whoops, you know what? I'm going to play with this a little more because... I zoomed, and I don't want to zoom. Let's bring it there. Now we can see better. This is so cool. I'm going to have to get one. Okay. Minerva Louise love the springtime. With all the colors, the farmyard look fresh and bright. The apple trees look so beautiful all in bloom. And so did the farmers. Hmm, maybe I'd look pretty too if I put on a hat, said Minerva Louise. Hey, who put an egg in my hat? Aw, oh, you poor thing, where's your mother? Minerva Louise warmed up the egg with her fluffy feathers. Aww. Then she looked around. She couldn't find its mother anywhere, but she did find another egg. Oh, she worried it might fall. She also worried that she might fall. Some hen is forgetting her eggs, said Minerva Louise. What do you think is going on? Hmm? Ah, and I can't warm all of them by myself. And she ran to the barn to tell her friends. Look, she said, I am finding eggs outside and some of them are so cold that they're turning blue. Oh, well, the hens grumbled at being woken up, but they were curious. No one had seen blue eggs before. They went out to look for the eggs, but they were all gone. You probably think Minerva Louise is crazy. Where did the eggs go? Asked Minerva Louise, but the little brown bunny didn't seem to know. Huh. And she couldn't get any answers from the baby chicks either. Oh my gosh. What are those things called? They're called peeps. Wait, she said. Look up there. It was an egg. But this one had spots and green stripes. Do you see the egg? Do you see what's right there? And then all of a sudden it was gone. A little hand had snatched it. There were farmers all around, running and laughing and picking up eggs. Oh, the hens felt better. They were used to farmer, farmers picking up eggs. They went back to the hen house for a nap. But not Minerva Louise. She found the perfect nest. <laughs> I 
lover. He's just so cute. So, so cute. So here is the number. Let's fix this over here so you can see it. All right. 105022. So you can write that down. Okay. Or you can do Minerva Louise and the colorful eggs. Okay. Or you can look at the, start this over and look at it again. Isn't that too funny? Oh, Minerva Louise. Lover. Lover. All right, my sweets. Well, I sent you the Zoom invite. Let's fix this a little. I did the Zoom invite, so we'll see you all tomorrow. Very excited. Remember to, if you haven't already, do your eggs. And you know what? Those of you that have done it already, if you want to do it again, do it. Just don't do the same one, okay? Do it again. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I have all of your um, lion paw pouches, and I'm sticking your lion paws in there, okay, for things that you've done. Xavier sent in box tops. So, Xavier, I'll be putting lion paws in there for you bringing box tops, okay? And I think you guys all had, you know, you've got lion paws all over the place for some reason. All right, so I'm going to hold on to them, okay? And I'll put lion paws in there when uh, you need them or when you've earned them or you've done something special, okay? All right, sweeties. So let's uh, bow our head and we'll start our day. All right, dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord God, for your love for us. Lord, we we lift up our our moms and our dads and, and those people out there that are working in the, the nurses and the doctors that work in the hospitals and all the people that are coming in contact to help others through this virus, Lord God. So I just pray you bless them and keep them safe. Keep us safe, Lord God. Have us, um, you know, keep our distance and just do the right thing so we will not get sick. But Lord, I do. I ask for you to bless, bless our day today. And we love this rain, Lord God. Thank you so much. It cleans the air. It's awesome. So Lord God, I just thank you. Right now, Lord, I want to lift up my, my dearest little friends, Lord God. And I want to thank you and ask you to, to bless um, Xavier and Rosalind and Lane, Brooklyn and Kira and Ariana and Bruce and Savannah and Olivia, Amara, Kale, Aubrey, Ricky, London, Mia, Adrian, Nathaniel, Ava, and Mario. Lord God, thank you for them. Thank you that I have this fabulous class and I just love them all so much. In your name we pray. Amen. Wow, I was looking through all your work. Took it all home yesterday. Watched TV and looked through all your stuff. You guys did a great job. Really good job. All right, even with some of your penmanship, proud of you. Really nice. All right, kiddos, I will talk to you later. Have a good morning.